In Dallas, a whites-only sign that was once displayed above a water fountain has now returned to the county records building. The art installation tasked with adding perspective to the sign, which has been in storage, by the way, during lengthy building renovations. Robbie Owens was there as it was returned today with both reverence and also a renewed mission. You don't think much about fire hoses until you have to get hit with water. Water as a weapon, a whites only water fountain, a symbol of segregation and hate. Is lest we forget. Oh, can turn around. We come this far. Show it was with a church like reverence that the art installation that marks those dark days was returned to the Dallas County Records building. I'm, I'm ecstatic, I'm elated. And the fact that parents bought their children today to see and be a part of it, says it all. And I, I, I believe people can learn by people's mistakes and we can make it better. For years, the whites only sign had its hateful message hidden. Its discovery nearly two decades ago was controversial. The local NAACP said, hey, you know, why? why? Why are we keeping it? Commissioner John Wiley Price insisted that the sign be preserved as an eyes wide open reminder of the city's segregated past. In those days, it was represented as just the way it was, and that always saddened me, you know. Brian Freeman would have been welcomed at that fountain. Fast forward, and the 81-year-old says he's honored that his marble company was tasked with carefully removing the signed stone slab. That didn't make any sense at all to a young kid, you know, when I was uh, being brought up there. It just didn't make sense. Now, the Lauren Woods art installation incorporates civil rights videos where hatred once flowed. And how dare we let all of those individuals in our past, let them down. Moses told Joshua, you know, those 12 stones, you know, what do you say of these stones? When our kids look and say, this is where we've come from. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.